Yo, hey lads, welcome back to the channel. And welcome to what is actually quite a special video in that um, this is sort of the channel's official YouTube business. Um, first bit of business, what we're having. In that a company has got in touch with me and asked me to do uh, a review on one of the parts that they sell. So, uh, let's just jump straight into it then. So basically then, uh, a guy from a company called Sublime Concepts has got in touch with me um, and he said, look, we've got this product, what we sell uh, specifically for Fiestas and we want to send you one. You do a little bit of a review on it and you can keep it. So I said, yeah, obviously, why wouldn't I? I've got nothing to lose. Um, it's a win-win for both of us. And it's actually a phone holder then for specifically Fiesta Mark 6 facelifts. So I don't think this is going to fit a pre-facelift Fiesta. So if you've got one of those, I would double check before uh, jumping in and buying one. Um, basically, so for the 6.5 facelift, whatever you want to call it, it goes in the slot of the uh, coin holder. Now you've probably seen these before. Don't know if many people have actually got them. I've seen them before on like Facebook and stuff. I never ended up buying one. Um, I wasn't too sure how I would like it like protruding from the dashboard. So we're gonna have a look at this and see what's what. Now this isn't any kind of like paid promotion or anything. I can give an honest review on it. So if I don't like it, I can slag it off. But I. I, I already know I'm gonna like it because it, it's really well built. I'm gonna show you how to fit it, even though it's a piece of piss, you don't have to worry about that. And yeah, so I'll uh, spin the camera around now and give you a close up look at it. Uh, go into a little bit of detail of what it's about, what it's like, what you can do, and you know, shit like that. So, I'll spin you around. Right then, so guys, let's give you a closer look at this now. Um, so if you can tell, it's actually been 3D printed, right? So normally for me, that would kind of flag up a little red flag because 3D printed stuff is not normally all that sturdy. Uh, but this is it's dead strong, to be fair to it. Uh, it's really well made, really well designed as well. Um, yeah, normally there's a little bit of like play in it, a little bit of flex, but honestly, You've got nothing to worry about with this. There is a little screw right in there, but that's going to undo your ball joint. And that is, um, for me at least, quite a good little feature because I'm not a massive, massive fan, if I'm completely honest with you, of these um, print lines. Now, I don't know if that's from the scaffold or not of the 3D print. I'm not too big on my 3D print, but the good part about it is that little screw in there will actually remove the base here so I think what I'm gonna do with mine is probably take that off sand it all down and uh, spray paint it gloss black then it'll look very nice in the dashboard so another good point about this is uh, your, your ball joint can be tightened basically if you want um, your phone to sit at a certain angle all you're gonna want to do is once you've got that angle set you're just gonna want to tighten that right up which is very hard with one hand. Tighten that right up, and then that's not gonna budge anywhere uh, with the weight of a phone, so that's really good. I really like that feature. And now, so I've been told, uh, phone sizes, it will hold up to a iPhone X. So I don't actually have a iPhone at all to check. Um, obviously, he's not gonna lie about the size of phone it's gonna hold, so. I'll be testing it with my um, Pixel 2 XL. Now, to me, that's quite a wide phone, and it can hold that no problem. But yeah, I think you should be good for size um, of your phone it can hold. But just, um, obviously, if you're going to buy one, give him a message first and just say, look, I've got this phone, can it fit? Uh, chances are it's probably a yes. Right, so... As I said before, it goes in there, replaces that. So I'm going to show you real quick how to fit it. Right then, so what you're going to need is a uh, trim remover. Now I've had a couple of questions, um, what this is, where do you get it from? 
So just to answer that for everyone, get it off eBay. M might even be less than a quid for a set of three. So if you want one of them, eBay, uh, trim remover is all you gotta search for. It'll probably come up. Right then, so to get your um, coin holder out, you're just gonna wanna wedge that in there, like so. So your coin holder then, this is something I see all the time on, uh, on the Facebook groups. So this wire in the back of here, Everyone always seems to ask what it is, what it does, why is it connected to the back of a coin holder with nothing in there. So, in an attempt to answer some of you, this is for the optional extra of the traction control button. Now, obviously not every Fiesta has got this. I think it was quite a rare optional extra. I've not seen many when I've looked at um, STs and stuff. So, that is basically for your traction control. If you were to go out and buy a traction control button and plug it in, it's not going to work because your car doesn't know it has it. I think it was just cheaper for Ford to just leave it instead of messing about and cutting off the loom and everything. So you really don't need to worry about that. You can get rid of it. So a quick comparison of the two. Uh, as you can see, the phone holder is very similar in, uh, in design to how it's going to fit. I think he's obviously taken one of these modeled it on some uh, 3d rendering program um, and just made sure that it is going to fit in there so all you gotta do dead easy just make sure it goes in that way because it will only fit one way and you're just going to want to give that a bit of a push until it clips it is as simple as that it does protrude quite a bit and that was my concern about it this is why i never actually bought one because of i was worried about how it would look now that it's in the car, where I would be to drive, it's not that bad actually. So let's just uh, cram my phone in there. Now like I said, that is very, very sturdy. That is not going to go absolutely anywhere. You can spin it around, you can angle it wherever you want it. So if you've got a sat nav on and you're there, you can angle your phone towards you. It's got a really good grip to it. Like, I can't even pull my phone out. Do you know what I mean? Just from driving, that's not going to fall out anywhere. You can really rag that until it comes off so you've got nothing to worry about with going over bumpy roads and such yeah like i've mentioned my only from from this angle on the camera it doesn't look too bad now i think a way to maybe try and hide that a little bit better would be swapping out your heated buttons to this side and then putting your phone holder there but then i'm thinking if you're driving along your steering wheel is going to slightly obscure your phone. You know, for your, um, if you've got the sat nav on. Yeah, it's going to obscure it a little bit. So I think that is the better place and then just angle it towards you. But yeah, so overall, good little product, I think. It, it does stick out. That's my only thing about it. It covers up a little bit of your radio, but how often are you going to be pressing CD info, eject, one, two, or whatever. You could, you could still reach under there and press them if you really want to. Or if you've got it sideways, it's not so bad. Uh, sideways works because then your vents aren't covered. Uh, but if you've got it long ways, portrait mode, um, obviously your, your vent is covered up. But yeah, yeah, I like it. I, I do like it. Uh, I would recommend it. Right then, so that is my review of... Uh phone holder from sublime concepts i think it's a good product uh, i recommend it it's it's really well made and it does its job perfectly i think they're 17 pounds 18 pounds i can't remember so if you want one of these i'll uh, i'll leave the link in the description obviously um you don't need to tell him i've sent you or anything and he sells them on ebay i believe you might as well get one to be fair i think i'm definitely going to keep it in there now but yeah we're gonna leave it there that is it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want one of those, link, like I say, in the description. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then a thumbs up. It goes a long, long way. But you know what goes even further? That's right. Subscribe if you don't mind. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.